I'm filming this video on Tuesday and very soon is a Black Friday. Black Friday is like a holiday of mass consumption with billion pounds being spent on unnecessary, unsustainable things which we actually do not need. A few weeks ago, DSCM announced that they are closing their online website and also offline store on Black Friday. Some people boycott the whole Black Friday thing, but also we could get some deals but much more in responsible way. So today I thought it'd be nice to show my everyday makeup tutorial with using my most favorite and also my most used product in 2019 instead of showing just new beauty products. All of these products I've been using for at least six months. Some products I use like five years. Most products look very old, use a lot, but that means I've been enjoying the product for a long time and being royal for them. Also, it's been ages to show my everyday makeup tutorial for a while, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So I've done my skincare and put some sunscreen on, so I'm moving on to the makeup. First, I'm using this, my Holy Grail Corrector. If you subscribe my channel for a while, you guys know this product. So this is a Skin Food Salmon Creamy Corrector cream is like a light salmon shade this shade is just perfect to do like color correcting on my dark circle i normally put this around my eyes like dark circle areas and around my lips which are quite pretty dark compared to other like rest of my face so when i use these products i normally take my fingertips first and apply after the i used to put this on the back of my hands but i found it as my back of my hands skin is so dry so it absorbs like almost all the products and it dries really quickly so i start to place the products here first instead of the back of my hand because this area is less dry than the back and i don't know it's just softer so it does not absorb the product as much as the back of my hand so i place the product here and the blend all together to just get the thin layer of it and after that i apply around my eyes and around my lips i've been using this product almost more than a year i've been using this product like too many times on my youtube videos so i started to try new products but nothing can be replaced with products so far so this is my Holy Grail corrector, yeah. Today I'm not using foundation, so I'm finishing my base makeup with concealer. This is just my Holy Grail concealer. It's the RMS Uncover of Concealer in the shade Sub A3. So I also mentioned these products a lot, I think, in my makeup tutorial. Since i not wearing foundation very often, I start to like look more like natural, but has a little bit coverage concealer, just perfect concealer for foundation-free makeup. This one is the best I ever tried. To do a base makeup with only concealer, it shouldn't be really like high coverage. If it has really like heavy coverage and really like it looks really cakey or thick, it looks unnatural compared to the rest of your face that you don't apply the concealer. So I think it's very important to find really natural coverage. So this is the one I really, really highly recommend to all the people who want to get a really good concealer for natural makeup, for foundation free makeup. The technique is the same as when I use the correctors. I take the products with the fingertips first and blend it with fingertips on here. And then I am just put the thin layer of it around my eyes. So this product is I've been using for like more than six months because i got this one when i went to new york april so it's been around seven months so yeah this is my favorite go-to concealer but i'm using this powder from innisfree i think i've been using this powder for like more than six years when you're in a rush you just 
grab the powder any powder and then like get rid of that oil where you want so this one is i always reach for when i'm in a rush normally i use the powder brow makeup products if there's like oil is like leaves a certain line so i always always make sure to get rid of oil on my eyebrows so i use any like brush eyeshadow brush like fluffy one take this product just apply roughly so next one is eyeshadow and for eyeshadow i'm using bronzer which is hula this one is my second one i guess i think it's been around two years to use this product it suits very well perfectly on my skin tone it looks really healthy it gives a little bit like warm color on my face so i'm applying this eyeshadow really lightly all over my lids and i'm applying it along my lower lash lines But next, I am moving on to the eyelashes. To curl my lashes, I always, always wear my eyelash color with a dryer, hair dryer. Make sure it's not really hot, otherwise it's gonna pop your eyes. After curling my lashes, I always always use mascara fixer or mascara primer. This really helps to hold the curl of your lashes. I've been using more than like probably five years, I guess. This can be my tenth or ninth or I can't remember. So I'm applying all of my lashes. While mascara fixer is drying, I'm doing my eyebrow makeup. For eyebrow, if you guys subscribe my channel for a while, you guys know what I'm gonna use for today. This is a Skin Food Choco Eyebrow Powder Cake. This is in the shade 1, grey khaki black. My hair color is black. I always always use like grey or greyish brown to match with my hair color. So. This product I've been using more than like obviously more than a year. I just take any like flat brush. It could be eyeshadow brush, it could be eyebrow brush. And I'm taking this light color, lighter color, and I'm filling my eyebrows really really lovely. As I'm not doing eyeliner and really like intense eye makeup, I like my brow keep natural. So this is what I do when I do my everyday natural makeup look. So next for eyebrow gel, I'm using Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Clear. I've been using for about a year, I guess. And as it has a really tiny brush, it's really easy to get a really defined eyebrow look. The only downside about this product is when I put too much of this product and then after it dry, it leaves like a white like thing like a wax thing on my brows so i always make sure to like use like small amount of this product and brush my eyebrows really really well to not leave any like white thing on my brows so firstly i apply this brow gel all over my eyebrows brushing them upward and to coat the brow gel evenly i use the spoolie to hold the brow hair upward and get really defined look without leaving the white wax. And I'm moving back to eyelashes. I'm applying mascara and I'm using this Maybelline The Lash Sensational mascara i finished the products like two years ago and i repurchased this again because i missed this product i think this mascara is just like basic this product does not bring really like dramatic result but this gives really like natural volume so i love using this product for my everyday makeup so first i'm applying this upper lashes so for lower lashes, I'm using this Innisfree 
Skinny Micro Color Zero Mascara in the shade Black. I think I've been using this mascara for many years, at least three years. I think this is really perfect to apply on my lower lashes as it has really like skinny micro teeth. So I'm applying this my lower lashes. So now I'm moving to bronzer. I'm using this Hoola from Benefit. To use the bronzer, I always always this like angle contour brush from Zoeva and I'm taking the product with the brush. And I already made a video about how to apply bronzer naturally, so you can check out. Place a product the back of my hand or like wrist. And I'm applying all along my outer of my face. Like giving like warm color on my face. So next I'm moving to blush. For today I'm using cream blush from Glossier. It's called Cloud Paint. Today I'm mixing two different shades which is dust and puff. So if I mix these two shades, it comes a very natural pink. So I love mixing these two shades. And also I've been using this more than a year. Especially for everyday makeup, I don't like using a powder blush nowadays. I love using like a liquid or a cream type blush. I even make the swatch video of this. So if you guys want to like see all swatches of this product, you can check out on my description box. So after mixing this, I place the product on my cheek area, side cheek first, and then blend all together with my fingertips. And also apply a little bit on my temple to connect the color and I put a little bit on my front so next for highlighter I'm using Glossier Play Highlighter Concentrate in the shade Platinum Rose this is like a champagne rose gold highlighter it really suits on my skin tone I just love this product so I'm taking this product on my back of my hand first. I blend with my fingertips and I put like the highlight area. It looks really intense at first but once you blended it, it comes out really really natural. I'm applying high pop my cheekbones underneath my brows, temples, a little bit on my forehead and nose bridge and a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes and nose a little bit keep it bow on the chin this is not supposed to be like glossier tutorial but Today I'm using pretty a lot of Glossier products. For lips, I'm using Glossy Generation G lipstick in the shade Cake. This shade Cake is like a peachy, nudey shade. So I like using this just for my everyday makeup. This is not glossy, it's kind of matte. Some people saying that this is like literally like a crayon. But I just love the sheer pigmentation. So this is my everyday natural makeup tutorial with using my most favorite and also my most used product in 2019. I hope you find this video helpful to think about what products you have now and what you really need before purchasing new beauty products. Tell me what's your favorite or most used beauty products in 2019. I'd love to know about it. Thank you for watching today and I will see you in the next one. Bye! From my bed, phone is dead